Hello students. In previous video, we have discussed about the deforestation and its harmful effects. Today, we will discuss how we can protect the forests. Throughout the world, forests are in danger. Many plants and animals that live in these forests are disappearing fast. Many people and cultures that depend on forests for their way of life are also under threat. So yesterday we have discussed how the forests are cutting and the reasons behind the forest being cut and we have also discussed that how the habitat of man number of plants and animals are destructed so there is a need to protect the forests do you know only 20 percent of the world's ancient forests are left that means 80 percent of world's ancient forests are already cut a forest of the size of a football field disappears every two seconds so you can understand that we are cutting down the trees at very fast rate because the size of the football field is disappearing in every two seconds. So this Forest Conservation Act was enacted by the Indian Parliament in 1980. So yesterday also we have discussed that the government has making a laws made a law for this and the Forest Conservation Act was enacted in 1980. According to its rules, the indiscriminate cutting of trees in forests is a punishable offense. Many areas in India have been converted into national parks and wildlife sanctuaries to protect the forest covers and the animals that live in the forests. So there are many steps already taken by the government to protect the forests. And many areas are converted into national parks and wildlife sanctuaries. Now, what is national park and sanctuaries? A national park is a reserved land usually declared and owned by the national government. That means the area is owned by the government and it is protected from most human developments and pollution. And a sanctuary is also a reserved area in which birds and animals are protected from hunting. That means in these areas, human beings or the people are not allowed to enter and build the houses or cut down the trees. Of national parks differ from a century in that no human activities is allowed is allowed inside the former that means in the national parks nobody is allowed while limited activities are permitted within the later later means in centuries because you must have seen that the tourists can go inside to see the wild animals in their natural surroundings.
in centuries the wild animals are not inside the cage they are open they live in their natural surroundings and we can visit and see them so limited activities are permitted in centuries whereas no human activities is allowed in the national parks national park receive more financial support from the central government the government also paying lot of attention to save the forests the gir national park in gujarat is probably the only place in the world where the asiatic lion is protected so that it can live in its natural surrounding so you must have heard about the gir national park it is famous for the asiatic lion and you know that there are some animals which are very less in numbers on this earth because people are keep on killing them for their body parts and here the asiatic lion is protected and it is the only place where these are found you can see here the picture of asiatic lion at gir national park and a pair of siberian crane at the bharatpur bird sanctuary we will discuss about this bharatpur bird sanctuary now bharatpur bird sanctuary in rajasthan is the largest bird sanctuary in asia it is famous for refuge for migratory birds like siberian cranes barons ibis pelicans and painted storks so we have already learned about the migratory birds these are the birds which move to other places during winter season to lay their eggs so bharatpur bird sanctuary is a place where these migratory birds came or come these are many there are uh, these are these and many other migratory birds make it their temporary home during every severe winter months so during winter season they came here and during summer they go back to their own places some other national parks in the himalayan foothills are the corbett national park and the dudwa national park these provide an unforgettable wildlife experience so in national parks these are the national parks of uh, in the himalayan foothills and you know whenever we see the wild animals and the forest greenery then we feel very good a number of organizations are spreading awareness about the importance of forest entries through printing as well as electronic media so many organizations are there which aware the people and try to aware the people for about the importance of forests so that they will not cut the trees and here you can see the posters issued by the world wildlife fund and you can do also one activity you can draw a poster or write a slogan on 
deforestation or save trees save earth we will also we, we all can also contribute towards forest conservation so here above we have learned how the government and some organization work to protect the forests now how we can contribute that means it is not only the duty of the government or some organization to protect the forest but it is the duty of each and every person of the world to save trees so how we can contribute towards forest conservation so what we can do is by minimizing the use of wood and wood products if we don't use the wood products and wood then only we can save the trees because if we will not use the wood products then the people who are selling the wood will not cut trees because if the wood products are not in demand then if no one purchase the things which are made up of wood then they will obviously not cut the trees because it is of no use for them then wood products means the furniture and so what there are many toys which are made up of wood and many things so we will ask that then what we will do most of our furniture are made up of wood we have wooden beds doors and many other things so now there are many alternatives of wood we can you must have seen the beds that are made up of iron they are also very beautiful there are many alternatives like aluminium and iron so by not using products and promote destruction of forests that promote destruction of forests many people buy fur obtained from animals ornaments made of elephant tusks etc this should not be done as it leads to killing of wild animals so as we have discussed that when we purchase something that becomes in demand and if we will not use then if no one purchase the things then it is of no demand and the people who are selling it will not cut the trees and not kill the animals similarly by not not using products that promote destruction of forests so we will not purchase if we will not purchase the things that are made up of wood or the things that we get from the forests then the forest will not get cut many people buy fur obtained from animals you must have seen many things which are made up of the skin of the animals or the fur obtained from animals like jackets and many other things ornament and show pieces made up of elephant tusks so some people kill the animals just only to take their tusks 
because it is in great demand. People purchase the things made up of tusk, elephant tusks. For that, they cut, uh, they kill the elephants. And there are many other animals whose body parts are used by humans and for which they are being killed. So we should not use the things made up of the body parts of animals. This should not be done as it leads to killing of wild animals. What else we can do? We can celebrate the growing of plants as a festival and involving more and more people in this activity. That means we can try to aware the people and we can celebrate the growing of plants at festival. That means on a particular day we can plant more and more trees not alone but we can also take the help of many peoples, others so that large number of trees can be planted. This festival is celebrated in many parts of India as one Mahotsu. So, this type of festival is already celebrated in India and you know one means forest and Mahotsu means festival. So, one Mahotsu. Do you know? One Mahotsav is a program launched by Indian government to increase the number of trees in our country. So our government is doing a lot of things to save or protect the forests. Every year thousands of trees are planted during this forest festival. Many schools also celebrate one Mahotsav by planting trees. This way they contribute towards making the earth green. So not only the government but many schools and many peoples celebrate this one Mahotsav and plant number of trees. So in this way we can contribute to protect the forest first not by cutting the trees and second by planting more and more trees now forests are earth's air purifier that we have already discussed that how the forest and the trees purify the air that is they are often referred to as the earth's lungs. Why earth's lungs? Because just as our lung absorb carbon dioxide from the blood and infuse it with oxygen, green plants absorb carbon dioxide during photosynthesis and in return release oxygen into the atmosphere. So we all know that during photosynthesis plants absorb carbon dioxide which is a greenhouse gas and in return they release oxygen and which purifies the air. So in this way we can contribute in protecting the forests and you must also plant more and more trees in your life and what you can do is you can plant at least one tree in a year on your birthday and like this you can do many other things or plant the trees and on many other occasions to protect the forests. Thank you.